Hey Bookers Babes and welcome to my book nook. We are monsters. We give and we take. We give. For those that are new around here, my name's Rainy. I read a bunch of books of all different types of genres, so if you're interested in that, like and, like and subscribe, stick around, and hang out on my channel. Okay, so today's video I've got inspiration from the wonderful Gavin, who is no longer How to Train Your Gavin, but is Gavin Reads It All, I'm pretty sure love Mr. Gavin and he does some pretty awesome book unhauls where he always does something different like one time he did where he had to unhaul 100 books before his coffee got cold he had to do a pull up or no a uh, push up for every book that he had hauled or like different things like that and I saw one that I liked that I was gonna do and he did a random number generator determines how many books he had to unhaul and a random number generator also determined how many minutes he had to unhaul them in and I thought that would be kind of fun because as I'm getting ready for like the end of the year and Christmas and stuff I'm realizing like I need a lot more room on my shelves to fit books that I'm actually really excited about that are gonna bring me joy and I want to have some Christmas spending money so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little unhaul experiment and so I'm going to have a random number generator on my phone and I'm going to screen record while I do this so that you're able to see the numbers that I'm putting in for all of the things and then we're just going to get crack a and we're going to see if I can do it in the time that I allow myself to do it in. So let's, let's, let's start with the number of books I want to unhaul. I want to unhaul at least 15 books but a maximum of 100. Oh god I'm really scared. Please don't make this a really high number. 61. Oh god. I have to unhaul 61 books. Okay, 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 I can do it. Now I'm going to determine like how long I'm gonna have to unhaul these and I'm going to give my limit of 10 and I'm going to make my max 40 like Gavin because if I'm unhauling 61 books, I'm gonna need all the time that I can possibly get. And I get 15 minutes. Oh great, oh God, oh Lord. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, this is stressing me out. 61 books. Why did I do this? Whose idea was this? Curse you, Gavin. All right, here we go. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to set up my camera somewhere so that you can see what is going on and it's just going to be pure chaos, honestly. And I'm going to get my timer ready and I know where we're starting because I'm going to start, of course, where um, I'm going to start at the top of my cabinet, of course, because that is the thing that you do when, you know, you have a bunch of books there that you don't want to read. All right, I'm going to get the camera resituated and then I'm going to press go. We're just going to race for time. And at the end, I'll show you the books one more time. All right, I'm pressing timer in, let me get screen recorded as well, in three, two, one, begin. Okay, all right, let's get started. I'm just going to go grab things and see how I feel. Okay, shadow and bone I'm keeping. The Green Mile, Stephen King. I'm never going to read this. Goodbye. Bone Witch by Ringe Pico. I bought this thinking I was going to read it one day. I honestly have no desire to read it. Haven't heard good things about it. <clears throat> Hamnet. Uh, what was it? Brittany told me you're not going to like this. And I believe Brittany. Okay. The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. You know, I keep thinking that I want to read this. However, honestly, I only want to read Station Eleven from her. So we're going to give this up. I want to keep Invisible Monsters. I do want to read that. I really do want to read The Power. I've heard good things about it. Honestly, why did I ever buy After We Collided? I'm never going to read the After series. I'm never going to buy the rest of them. Goodbye. I also have Be With Me and Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And something tells me that I'm never going to read this entire series. So I should just get rid of it while I can. We're at seven books and we've got just under 14 minutes left. So let's keep going. Um, I'm going to keep what Alice forgot because my friend said that was a really good book. I do want to read sign here. The It Girl. Am I ever going to read this? No. Do I care about Miss Ruth Ware? No. It's got to go. Let's keep going. Um, oh God. Breathless by Amy McCullough. I wanted to read this at some point in time. I have no desire to read this anymore. Okay, I'm going to keep the perfect Girl Forgotten in Pieces of Her because I do want to read those by Miss Slaughter. However, I do not want to read The Shards by Brett Easton Ellis. I want to read American Psycho by him. I have no desire in reading this. Honestly, this is 600 pages of I don't know. No one has ever said anything good about Hairpin Bridge, Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. Um, do I want to know why it sucks? No. I do want to read The Good Sister. I really like Sally Hepworth. I 
I'm never going to read The Chestnut Man, honestly. And my copy actually has a um, an issue with it on the paper. So goodbye, Chestnut Man. I do want to read these short stories, A Sliver of Darkness from CJ Tudor. So like, I'll give this a chance. I don't know if I ever want to read The Escape Room by Megan Golden. Honestly, I want to read Night Swim, but I have no desire to read this. So probably saying goodbye. I'm going to skip all these because I do want to keep all of these. Uh, I don't know. My Sister, the Serial Killer. You know, I was interested in this at one point in time, and I'm not anymore. I do want to read The Chalk Man. I want to read all these. Last Light. I really liked the other book by her, so I will keep. Uh, Saw Kill Girls. I kind of want to keep that, honestly. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Miss Agatha Christie. I keep saying I'm going to read this. I know I'm not going to read this. I don't really care for Agatha Christie, so away we go. Okay, let's keep going. Um, the Chain. I know everyone says that the ending sucks, but I want to figure it out for myself. The Belger I'm going to keep. Winter people I'm going to keep when no one is watching. Okay, so let's, if we're being realistic, uh, I know that a lot of people enjoyed this, but I have no desire to read this. Same thing with All the Missing Girls by Miss Megan Miranda. I have discovered that I'm not really a Megan Miranda girly, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'll keep the other Mrs. Miranda Kabika. I'll keep Karen Slaughter. I'll keep Lisa Jewell. I'll keep this one, Ruth Ware, because I want to read that. Let's go. I just picked this up. I do want to read that. The Chosen and the Beautiful, I'm pretty sure, is like a great Gatsby retelling, and I think I want to keep that, so I'll try it a little longer. I keep saying I'm going to read How to Stop Time by Matt Haig because I really enjoyed his other book, but honestly, I'm just not interested in it. Okay, Northern Spy, I picked this up back when I was going to do Reese Witherspoon's uh, Good Morning America book club. However, like, I've, I, I don't, I don't care to read this anymore, if we're being honest. The 22 Murders of Madison May. The 22 Murders of I Don't Care. Honestly, this could be the best book ever, and I, I, I don't know. The Woman in the Window I'll keep for now. Winter Garden. I'm not even a big Kristen Hanna girly. I don't know why I picked this up. It's, ah, there was a bug in it. I'm so glad. Oh, great. That's exciting. I, oh my God, I killed a bug inside the book. That's just gross. Well, now I'm definitely getting rid of this book. Okay, um... I'm going to keep love. I don't know if I want to keep love of my life. I feel like I want to read that, but I don't know. I think I will keep that one. Okay. Fate theories I'll keep. This is where I leave you. Um, I don't know. I feel like I wanted to read this, but now I'm just like, when are you ever going to read this? You know what? This is where I leave you. Okay. Um, the final revival of Opal and Nev. I know I picked that up recently for like $2 at this book sale, but like, I don't know. No, I might, I might keep this. I might give this a try. Siren Queen I'll keep. Florida Woman. My Dark Vanessa I'll keep. A Good Marriage. I know everyone tells me that I should try another Kimberly McCrae because I didn't like the one book that I read by her. However, I have no desire of reading this. Honestly, I just don't care. I'll keep Karen Slaughter. The Sundown Mattel by Simone St. James. Uh, I read a Simone St. James. It was just all right. I honestly don't have any desire to read anything else of hers ever. So I'm going to finally say goodbye. Uh, let's see. Vladimir. This is an arc. So I don't even know if this is like the same as it should be. I should just get rid of this, right? Uh, I don't know. There's something about this that makes me want to keep it. I might keep it, honestly. I might. Uh, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I don't know if I ever actually see myself reading this book. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it right now because I kind of don't want to get rid of it. Okay. The Immortalist, I'm not going to get rid of just yet. Severance, I think I'm going to keep for a vlog. Cinder, I'm going to keep this time tomorrow. This time tomorrow, you should be with somebody else because I don't want to read you. Um, Hench, I'll keep. Firekeeper's Daughter, I'll keep. Long Bright River, Once Are Wolves, Two Paradise, I kind of want to keep. And Black Cake, I'll keep. Okay, so if we already look at the top, I got rid of a lot of books. So now I need to go to other sections. But first, let's pause the timer and see how much I've unhauled. Okay, friends, quick little update. I currently have unhauled 25 books. I still have 36 books that I need to unhaul and I have seven and a half minutes to do it in and I'm not feeling very good about it. So we're going to try hurry as much as we can. However, all the books that were up there were the ones that I definitely would have gotten rid of. So I might need to go back up there and get more books. But now we're going to go to all the books that I've read, see if there's any on there that I don't actually want to keep. And then we'll go to this bookshelf, which is like my books that I don't want to read quite as much as these ones. 
and then we'll go from there. So let me turn the camera, press play, and begin. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm keeping Bewitched. I'm getting rid of the cabinet at the end of the world. It's a one star. I hated it so very much. Um, these are all library books and or books that I want to keep. So I'm going to move those out of the way so that I can see if there's any that I don't care about here. I did not like You Shouldn't Have Come Here, but I don't want to get rid of it because I have every other Geneva Rose book. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep all these. These are like my favorite books of all time. There's a lot of Jodi Picoult back there I'm keeping. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Punk 57. Did not like this book. Goodbye. Um, Truly Devious I'm keeping because I have the rest of the series, so I can't get rid of it just yet. Um, I liked all of these. I will keep, although long with the Pumpkin Queen, I'm like, I'm never going to read this again, like ever. So I'm probably you don't just like going to get rid of it. Um, okay. Let's see. I'll flick on the turf. I liked all of these. Ugh, I liked all of these. I don't even know if I want to read this anymore, but I'm going to keep it for now. Okay. The Whispers, I didn't love, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's Ashley Aldrain, but I didn't love it. Uh, Baby Teeth Migration, You're Invited. Do I need to keep that though? Like, am I? Okay. You know what? I don't. I don't. I'm making a mess as we go. It's okay. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm keeping all of these. Okay. Let's be realistic. I didn't love the whispers. I don't need to keep it. I also don't need to keep You're Invited, even though I enjoyed it because I'm never going to read it again. Let's be realistic. I'm not going to read most of these again. Okay. Um... I didn't love the Paris apartment. Do I need to keep it? I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, if I'm trying to unhaul books and I'm trying to create room for more books, then no, I don't need it. Okay, we're at 30 and I have five minutes left. Ah, okay. Um, is it sad that I have to unhaul this because I hated this book? It is. Let's not talk about it. Um, let's keep going. I actually have two copies of The Love Hypothesis so I can get rid of one. Um, here we go. Move these over. I don't need, no, that's a devotional book. That's my husband's book that Lincoln dragged in from somewhere. Okay. Um, Big Little Lies. I read it. It was fine. I don't need to own it. <sighs> Jackal, honestly, the same exact thing. Like, I like Jackal, but I don't need to own it. Okay. Ninth house I'm keeping. I'm going to read these. Pachinko, I'm supposed to read for a blog, so I'm going to keep that for now. Uh, Five Survive was a perfectly good time, but I don't need it anymore. Uh, the Midnight Library I will keep. Way of Blood, all the people here. Care Soto, people. The Maidens I hated, but I'm keeping because it's Alex Michaelides. I liked all of these other ones, so I don't want to get rid of them. I'm not going to get rid of Finley. I'm not going to get rid of Catherine House. I will get rid of Rachel Hollis because I don't support her. She's a terrible person. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep yeah, Sally Hepworth. All right, then we move. We are moving down here where you can't see, but I'll just at least talk. Um, we are getting rid of The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Never read it, but I don't really wish to because I didn't like her other book. Um, sh I should get rid of An Honest Lie, but I'm not going to get rid of that because the main character's name is Rainy. I'm keeping that. Sorry, I'm keeping it. Um, I want to keep all of those books that I see, honestly. And then over here... I feel like this is blasphemy for unhauling it, but I didn't care for Song of Achilles. I feel like it's also bad to get rid of Legends and Lattes, but I, I, I didn't like it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of it. I just, I didn't love it. I'm also going to get rid of the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires because I didn't like this book and I'm never going to read it again. I also don't think I need to keep reminders of him. It was a five star, but I'm never going to read Coho again. I'm pretty sure The Good Daughter is like the eighth book in a series or something. So I'm going to get rid of that by Miss Karen Slaughter. Let's see how many I have now. All right. I am at 43. I only have 18 books left, but I only have two and a half minutes. So we're going to go and we're going to see how much I can get done in this last two and a half minutes. But now I've gone through all of my books that I own that I want to get rid of. So now we're going to go to this shelf over here, which means I need to actually lower you so you can see. All right. Lincoln is being my cameraman for me as I press go. Here we go. All right. Um, nope. I'm keeping all my Riley Sagers. I'm keeping all of Alice Feeney. I'm keeping all of Lisa Jewell. I want to read White Horse. Honestly, I want to read all of these books still. Lincoln, stop. Um, so this is not happening. Um, I do. No, I want to read all these. Okay. These. I don't know because I read The Kiss Quotient and loved it, but I have no desire to pick up The Bride Test and no desire to pick up this. So honestly, I'm probably just going to unhaul these. 
We have what might have been. Mm, I, I still do want to read this. It's just hard because like, okay. For example, I've heard nothing good about Do I Know You by Emily Wiberly, but I wanted to read it because I really liked The Roughest Draft. So I think I might keep this and try anyway. But then you have How to Walk Away by Catherine Center. And I honestly don't really now ever see myself reading this. Okay, this is the beginning of a series. And I don't know if I'm actually in the mood to read this weird Richie romance series, Payback's a Witch. So I think I'm going to jump in. Lincoln is organizing all my books for me. I am never going to read Eleanor Oliphant. It's completely fine. So she's completely done. Um, Nope, that I'm going to keep. Weather Girl, I don't know. I didn't like the X, whatever it's called by them. So I might, I might just take a bite of this book, honestly. And I was going to read Set on You, but I don't have any desire to. And I don't want to read X's and O's. So I'm honestly probably just going to get rid of this. And I haven't heard that great of things about love in the time of serial killers. I might keep that though. I think I might keep that one. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, we're going to keep all of these books because I did buy The Whisper Network because I wanted to read it, and it, but I wanted to do like a Chandler Baker taste test, so I think we'll keep that. <coughs> oh god, I have like 22 seconds left. Ah! Okay, um, 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 do I still want to read Georgie all along? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm about to run out of time. Crap! I have 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, I didn't finish. The Luminous Deep. I'm never going to read this. Put this down. The Lighthouse Witches. Mm. Okay, that's time. Let's see how many books we have and reconvene. Okay. I only have 10 books left to get to 61, and I think that I can do it. So I'm going to add an additional two minutes to my timer after I finish this sprint, and we are going to... We're gonna finish, okay? I'm sitting for this last part while I give myself two more minutes. So here we go. Um, The Tobacco Wives. This is a very pretty cover, but I'm never gonna read it. Like, let's be honest, they're never gonna read it. Dear Edward, I do want to read this, but honestly, I'm never gonna. Goodbye, dear Edward. Okay, Anxious People I'm gonna keep. Una Out of Order, Frederick Bachman. Oh, I don't know why I'm keeping all these Frederick Bachmans. I don't even want to read all of them. I don't want to read Brit Marie with here. I don't want to read My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. Okay, so that is, we need six books left. Okay. Everything I Never Told You I'll Keep. Oh, this is an easy four books I can get rid of next year in Havana, When We Left Cuba, Last Train to Key West, Our Last Days in Barcelona. I'm not a historical fiction girly. I'm just not. So I need two more books. If I was smart, I would get rid of my two Sally Rooney's, but I don't want to do that because I do want to read those to see if she's really not for me or not. I should get rid of Grown by Tiffany G. Jackson because I don't know when I'm going to read that, but I don't want to get rid of that. Do I get rid of the book Practical Magic because everybody says that the book is not nearly as good as the movie? I think we do. All right, one more book. I think we're going to get rid of The Kept Woman. All right. These are all the books that we are unhauling. All 61 books. We did it, dude. Say, we did it. All We did it. Yeah, that's a lot of books. So, goodbye. Forever. And this was my wonderful assistant throughout most of this. He helped me organize all my books, right? Right? Yeah. All right. Well, that is the end of this unhaul vloggy vlog. So I am now going to sell all these. They are all listed on my Pango at the time you're watching this video. So you can go shop to your heart's content, hopefully help a girl out for Christmas. Um, and with that, we will see you guys in a video very, very soon with maybe a book haul on the horizon. Can you say bye? Say bye.